Hi there, signs of Sagittarius. Hope you guys are doing really well out there today. Whenever you're watching this next 48 hours is the type of reading that we're going to do. I'm going to pull a Celtic cross with the Psychic Tarot. I just did this for myself and it was interesting. It was pretty interesting. So, because, you know, they add the uh, chakras in this deck. So, you have all the chakras. And also, I'll be uh, clarifying with the Kipper and the Siren Song, which is kind of like a blend of Lenormand and the Kipper decks. Styles. Style decks. <clears throat> some Palo Santo. Some Holy Wood. Choices and decisions bringing balance to an off-balance situation. You do have lots of options, it seems like. Choosing wisely is recommended. Using, being armed with the best information you need for a victory. Let's see. Another sip of water. Excuse me, guys. It's been, been parched. Hang on. Okay. Clearing the deck. Let's get messages for the sign of Sagittarius. We will go ahead and take reversals since this is the normal Celtic cross spread, and I would normally take. So your angels, your spirit guides, helping us, ancestors, loved ones passed on, people that uh, have messages that will be positive. As long as they're positive, they're welcome here. As long as they have a reason of being positive. Oh, 4-4. Four, four. They sure do. <clears throat> so that's why I did this, is for that chakra. Oh, and hers is lit up in the same place that's the challenge. Look at this Empress and Emperor showing up in your reading. <laughs> Emperor and Empress. Oof. Mm -hmm. Waiting on a sign. Mm -hmm. Another three. Six. Two for the outcome. You're going to be building something. Mm. You're gonna be you're gonna be building something. There's an energy that could possibly stop you from moving forward or is holding you back, and we're gonna find out what that energy is. Let's get one more. One more. Okay. Something that's gonna be changed on your every day-to-day -day practical. And there's the star card on your every day-to-day -day thing. Something's going to be built in a different way. You want to avoid a tower and they're saying then you'll have to listen to your intuition this time when it comes to matters of work and practicality. There could be even, even a pause in something and, and how something works. You're creating your sake there's partnerships and alliances and then the sacral chakra i have in the reverse so <clears throat> it might be about awakening this kundalini energy where you just feel i mean you don't even have to label it that where you just feel completely energized to do something we have to talk about the heart chakra though because that is causing some issues and so is the sacral chakra your pelvic area this pelvic floor area this could also be sexual in nature and having like some and with Scorpio ruling over the reproductive organs and also Scorpio new moon is um here when it's Wednesday I think okay and then goes into a full moon in Scorpio so we have transformation sacral chakra in the reverse these energies are coming together though the crown chakra being in the past in the reverse too. That's about being in a state or a place of mind where you can't envision or you're having issues with receiving 
concrete signs of direction. I see this here too as the future energy. So we're definitely with the seven of wands in the reverse. It's like not knowing what action to take or not asserting yourself. So the issue of this whole reading is about finding out one how to open your heart chakra be loving but also be authoritative and like what you say goes you're the author of your own authority here you're the author see and the key to that heart chakra is going to be blending in your divine feminine energy too so we're going to find out more i'll start start with you know what I'll start with actually the siren song for this past energy I have the um, other tarot there too so we use it if we have to <clears throat> this is about receiving receiving messages the violet flame Tell me more about the crown chakra being in the reverse, the heart, the heart. So this could be about being open to receive from the heart space. Somebody maybe wanted to give to you from their heart space. Jealousy, envy over somebody assisting you with a gift or some kind of help with the bear, right? Deep in somebody's thoughts, the person that wants to help you or wants you to open their heart to them. And my crown chakra just got a big tingle right when I said that too. So your transformation, number 16, and your achievements, two eights, your intelligence has you on this person's mind. It's, it is feelings of love. He's also holding the book in this deck. The book, is stand, it stands for the secrets or something being withheld. How much they've helped you, something that you're not aware of, being in this energy's mind so much. have the good lady which is also an energy that talks about uh, being like a mentor a mother-like figure a boss this is a mother-like energy too with the empress it's in the upright and so is the emperor it's just a matter of opening the heart space see in this picture the heart has been wounded a little bit and it's still healing right it's still bleeding it's still healing somebody's kind of envious it might be a mother figure of feeling like this energy thinks about you too much maybe can't even control these thoughts or in, in, or feelings of of love for you sagittarius what have you done to someone <laughs> not bad i guess not bad house on the bottom number four house what is going to be revealed to you regarding your heart, regarding how you feel as we have the sun in reverse in the heart space? What? Is it, it makes me feel shut off, closed, shadowy. I have occupation. Focus more on that. Oh, or it's the light and the hope that something new, something that your heart is more into. Give me more other than just occupation. Tell me what else for the heart space, the heart of the matter. Oh my gosh, the book really came out. You see, I noticed that because he is definitely holding a book on that. It looks like a park bench, but, and then you have that, that uh, gold cupid's arrow, cupid. Cupid's arrow, can't talk, sorry. Add 10 more to the completion. There's a secret. What does it say on here? This is secret. Under, under seas is what it says. <laughs> thousand le 2,000 leagues under the sea. 
20,000 leaks under the, geez, under the sea. A secret. Something very deep. A secret. Maybe with having to do with how somebody wants to help with some type of occupation or change in occupation, perhaps. Tell me more. So there's a secret, something being hidden from you. Satisfaction, happiness, the lily. Sorrow, sadness, shame. Embarrassed, court, 23, a new beginning, and something to do with court, a new beginning, or making something official as a new beginning. What else about the solar plexus chakra? That's in the environment. Tell me more about that. It's a good outcome. <laughs> no matter what, even if it, especially if it has something to do with court, there is a good outcome here. 15 associates with the devil energy, reduces to a sixth lover's energy, and the good outcome. So you're feeling this new beginning. You could feel in anticipation to build something, or to build. The stars are aligning, especially when it comes to this, uh, what is what you're feeling in your heart. The stars are truly aligning here for... Um, you to be really known for something really good for something something that's yours this positive outcome is yours i have the marriage and the ending court and the new beginning what if that's what's coming and then this is the the ending of doing something alone endings Because this could be deciding who or, or what to what to go towards and what not to go towards. <clears throat> it could be a, a closing and the ending of an issue with authority or justice. There could be a really feeling of being very guarded about what you create. Because of something here that happened, I don't know what it was, but something that... Um, It feels like something that wasn't fair. That's what it feels like. But so there's a change. Well, and there's great fortune. And the good gent on the bottom. The fresh new start. The great fortune. The new beginning. The ending of, of possibly poverty or a work situation that wasn't working. So guarded is what I'm getting. So when you open that heart space and be less guarded... But still defend self. This Empress energy. Okay, so what's the seven of, of wands here in the reverse? The woman, 29. Let's get another one. News. Good news. Movement. Travel. It's just waiting on a sign. For movement, for travel, for something to move forward. And I have the rich gent here. Looking like the offer between happiness, satisfaction, and even the marriage card right here, right? Travel. Good news. Travel. <laughs> and good news, right? The letter came out right when he said that. All right. So the physical manifestation of something... With the hope card, you've got to have positive self-talk and be careful moving forward. There are snakes, people pretending and maybe to be harmless but aren't. That energy will drain you of your 
health and slander to be protective of yourself to that assert yourself up to that and assert yourself in the way where you're not talking bad to yourself it could be an energy that wants to keep you from knowing some really great information is afraid for you to move on but there's the sun i think it'd be pretty hard to stop somebody from moving on with this so the goals and destiny by the way it was the empress and your outcome is sunny it's the the stars and the sun and everything is aligned that can even mean fame <laughs> and as i say that there's the moon card which stands for in the lenormand fame recognition and um wow you're in the spotlight the stars like are arranged for sure for you and it's going to bring you fortune and fame fortune and fame you have to watch out for the ones that want to drain you and don't wish the best for you i feel like these energies do it's a secret a secret what is the mature woman who's the mature woman what's that about expectations mature woman maybe that's who you need to watch out for somebody expecting the pathway to this is the pathway here lighting up your solar plexus chakra what you're creating great fortune from poverty great fortune great fortune you got both from poverty it's a rex to riches situation and it probably started with your journey with yourself on the inside right yeah, in despair, sad. What am I going to do? Having issues with occupation. Got two of those, too. Well, something like that might be changing for the better, too. A new beginning with the child. Clearing your name. Getting out of restrictions. <sighs> yeah, that was an absolute Rex Riches story here. That's what this is. If that's, it. and and of course, being wealthy, you could be wealthy in so many different ways too, right? Let's pull some tarot and let's see what's on. And there's the fold in the beginning, the magician, of course. Celebration, abundance, the three of cups. It just keeps getting better, guys. Divine um, Empress energy and the Emperor. That's unstoppable energy. It's two, it's power, power couple, power for, powerful purpose. I can't even talk. And it's divine timing for this. <clears throat> and yeah, there's going to be some energies that just won't get along. You just have to watch out for those energies. That's all, that's how it's always going to be though, no matter what situation. Always have somebody. Six of pentacles is like balance, compromise. I help you, you help me, everybody's wanting to give you gifts. <laughs> Look at that spin. That's it. Oh, the high priestess. So they're saying definitely upright. You have to listen to your own intuition. You hold the key in your deep thoughts to some kind of big secrets or knowledge. Or some, yeah, some like really important knowledge. Something's going to pick up. This could be travel movement forward. Coming out of denial about what wasn't working right and what was stopped for a long time. Like, no, no progress. It, I have a feeling it had something to do with this work situation. And something that was holding you back. And there was a, okay, I'm, if I pretend everything's fine for however long, but that didn't work. And this energy still kind of let you down. With the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse because of such, such a long delay. A disappointment. Mm. And so now you got to give that cup to yourself with Queen of Cups. Really, it's strong Piscean energy. This can be Cupid's arrow to communication. Ooh, building your great fortune is what I got. 
just then building your great fortune the queen of cups taking really good care of yourself allowing a rebirth to occur the end of a situation or the end of a cycle and this is introducing the never giving up wounded warrior you are but here you are independent self-reliant entrepreneurship a win a lottery win a inheritance whatever it is it's going to bring you out of a stagnant motion of uh, or stagnant energy of not moving forward and feeling like uh everything feels like a mistake <laughs> everything feels like a mistake why am i not moving it feels like there's some kind of mistake and or like you've been forgotten by the universe when it came to fortune but you haven't you haven't this is you pulling out of that time choices and consequences sure Mistakes forgiven, put into the past, loving yourself, real important. Forgiving yourself, loving yourself, and persevering. The three of wands, because whatever you visualize, it's going to happen. This is the not, so this is like closing the chapter, the ending on, on what did not work, what was a not hopeful situation anymore. Not good for you. Healing your heart is what's really important right now. And then, like we started off with in the very beginning, you're having many choices for you to choose from. Truly, you've got a lot of divine feminine energy here. You can do it all yourself if you want. All on your own. Three of pentacle in the reverse. You are the nurturer. You're the protector. You're the practical person. You're the one that can handle this amount of money influx. Right? And so, choosing wisely choosing with a clear mind space and if you need to rest renew and repair then that's being advice to for you to rest renew and repair all right now we're gonna pull from the oracle of genetic gifts and then i'm gonna get off here and cook some fried chicken <laughs> sounds so good so excited to do that all right, Oracle of Genetic Gifts, what we got? What we got? We got Claire Gustin's Clear Tasting. That's what I'm thinking about. Claire Gustin's Clear Tasting. Psychic medium, a communication between spirit worlds. Portal Keeper, 3D to 5D Ascension Fulfillment. Psychic de Detective, Postcognition, Psychometry, Telepathy, and Dowsing. Five, ascension number five, light ether, mental tunes into spirit. It might be that, that, you know, contemplation, rest, renewal, all that. Tarot deck creator, I have a visionary. I have a YouTube platform popping up. So if that's a confirmation for you, there you go. For your spiritual calling, a uh, clear audience, clear hearing. Ascension number seven, astral plane, pineal gland is fully open. I also have meditation teacher, <clears throat> teach heal wellness. Ascension number four, warmth, ether, senses are being realigned. That's interesting. Senses are being realigned. Angel number 17, the quality of work you produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way. With focus, efficiency, and skill, I am independent. Th these are very independent numbers. And 19, I'm a pioneer. Another one, independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you to you right you're extremely capable in life and work you aren't afraid to take the big risk to achieve the life you desire i'm a pioneer you uncover important truths with 16. you have an inquisitive mind yes yeah, so your thoughts contain these secrets here i feel like um that allows you to uncover important truths 16 16 too 
You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings and a wisdom seeker. Your angels ask you to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I am perceptive is what I've got for you guys. I'm sending you lots of love. If you need a private reading, that is in the description box below. Otherwise, bye.